Hey guys, welcome back to The Average. So today I'm gonna do a little project. I wanna do a comic off of this book, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is one of my favorite series. It's a very comical sci-fi series and you've probably heard of it and it's hilarious. And there's also a... There's also... <laughs> Let her finish. There's also a... Um, radio and there's also a radio play about it and i don't know if that's on youtube but if it is i will definitely link that down below because it's great and especially if you like to listen to things whilst you draw or whatever it's really funny and really well done that's it what i'm gonna do is i picked like a little scene that i liked from random i just i skimmed read like a lot of different parts and then I came to one that I quite liked. What I wanted to do was draw a comic out of the page using the dialogue, the scenes and creating the characters like drawing them out because I thought it'd be just like a fun thing to do. So I did some quick scene setups and character designs of Arthur and his friend but only Arthur appears in the scene so I think it's only Arthur that I'm going to focus on and I'm just doing some thumbnailing now so that's you all caught up in the process that I'm on and let's see what happens. Hopefully I come up with something quite fun. Hmm. So the story of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is about this guy called Arthur Dent who's a rather normal chap and one day he discovers that his house is going to be bulldozed down due to some random rule the council made up like 20 years ago because they want to build a highway across his land basically. So he didn't realise this in time because of some like stipulations and rules and it even though it doesn't sound funny it's very funny because it's kind of like a reflection of typical form process that you have to go through and it's very sarcastic and dry humour in the book and I really really like this style of writing it's very funny and it's just very fantastical too it keeps you on the edge and the sci-fi elements are great and it's just a funny story so I really highly recommend it so I wanted to start by explaining what happens on the page I guess because so you guys can understand what's happening <laughs> obviously and this is a scene where Arthur Dent has just been to the pub with his friend and he comes home to see that even though the builders said they wouldn't tear down his house they have started to bring the diggers in and things and they promised him they wouldn't and he's come back from the pub and realized that they have started work but his friend that's with him um, who doesn't actually appear on this page but he is mentioned in the page as like following him and stuff um, but I haven't drawn him because there was only one point where it's like oh he's following him and that was like one sentence so I don't know and yeah so he's shouting at the builders like ranting and raving how he's gonna beat them up or whatever <laughs> and it's I mean I'm doing it an injustice because you have to read the text it's quite funny he's you know swearing at them whatever and doesn't realize that they've all started running away because massive spaceships have appeared in the sky so it scared everyone away except for Arthur who hasn't realized because he's consumed in his rage and it's very funny and then he falls over like he trips and he sees it and he's suddenly like forgotten all about his house he's like what the hell is that and it's really funny and I think I've just said it's really funny many several times so good for me good words used right I've started out by thumbnailing and drinking lots of coffee because when you're thumbnailing and trying to put visuals down on paper that appear in your head then you need a lot of concentration think and be intelligent for a little while which is very difficult for me okay guys I'm gonna be honest <laughs> so I thumbnailed and sketched out all the images and I started to go in with the micron pen which I recently bought from London. I did do a mini haul and I've got some pens from Japan that Chris's parents bought back as well which I did a mini haul so let me know if you're interested in seeing that because I don't know if it was that interesting but maybe somebody likes it so I might do it. And yeah so I got these micron pens and I wanted to try them out with watercolour so I wanted to do a big comic page thing which was really really dumb of me because this took two days. Two days guys. And honestly I wasn't really that happy with the results which I will explain as I go through but you can see that I'm just inking out all the page as I go. And I did these character designs of Arthur, which I really liked in my sketchbook, but I think they kind of lost something when I penciled them out. 
I think when you're doing sketches in your sketchbook, it kind of, you know, when you translate it then to the final project, it, it sort of loses some momentum and line quality. And I really like this kind of line quality that's really loose and that style. I've been reading a lot of comics that have a really loose line quality and it seems as if the, the artist has done it in like 10 minutes, which probably isn't true, but it seems that way and it just seems effortless. And of course I just go the opposite way and do like really solid shapes and things and it isn't loose at all and yeah, but I don't know, it's okay, it's just, I like his design, I think it's sort of how I picture him. I really wish I hadn't put him in a t-shirt and jeans because I think that just is very basic bitch of him. Even though he is kind of an average guy, I suppose that's the whole point because he's supposed to be very average, his character, so meh, could have gone with something else. But yeah, didn't mind his character design. I guess he looks a little bit more round than I wanted. Is that is that something that we talk about? Like round face? Is that okay? I don't know. Um, overall, I'm pretty pleased with the page because to come up with something sort of out of thin air, just because you have the writing there, doesn't mean it's quite easy to lay it down and lay it out and stuff. And I wanted to do it so it had a lot of visual interest and I was hoping that you could follow the movements of the character and sort of see the energy that he has within himself, within the story, that, I mean, the writing style is very full of life, energy, humour, so I kind of wanted to reflect that in the comic and I hope that I sort of achieved that. I think some bits are a bit um, more rigid than others and some I like some panels better than others. For instance, the one with the spaceships in it, I'm not... I'm not a huge fan of that and I think it's because I know that I rushed it and even when I was looking at it I was like oh I just want to do it because I think when you've been working on something for so long and you're not really liking the way it's going you kind of rush things but I, well I do anyway I don't know if you guys do that if you're like yeah not liking this you kind of rushed it to get rid of it but it wasn't it didn't turn out awful awful but I think I could have made more of the spaceships and I don't know, I think I was thinking it more from Arthur's point of view where he's not really seeing it so I kind of left them out of the panel slightly instead of making them the main focus. I wanted Arthur to be sort of the main focus and then the people running away and then the spaceships you see them. So you kind of, you, you have that understanding that Arthur's not seeing it. I don't know. If it, I don't know if it translates like that but I hope it does. Yeah, using watercolours as well, I thought oh, I'll use watercolours will be um, a quick thing to do. It wasn't quick at all. I realised that I've basically done nine illustrations on a page, which I know is comics, that's comics. I'm aware I've done comics, but it is just, I, I could have simplified it a little bit more instead of doing this sort of painty um, watercolour paint style. I don't know. I think if I had more time as well, because I'm pretty busy at the moment, so I, I had a limited time to work on this. So if I put something down, I was like, okay, that has to be it. but. If I had more time to work on it, if it was an actual comic that I was going to work on and create, then I would give a lot more time to um, preliminary work, which of course is like character design, layout, thumbnailing. But I did all of that quite quickly. And then I spent a long time covering those mistakes up as I went, if that makes sense. So if my advice to you guys is don't skimp on the preliminary work, like do character design study the backgrounds you want to do, do different layouts, study form and expression and um, line of action of your character. Get that down to a T and then the rest of the work is fun and it's easy and it flows. You gotta put the hard work in first guys, that's something that I have learned many a time but didn't put into practice this time again. So I think the hardest part of this task was just visualizing everything because you think it's easy you think you can see it in your head what it is and then you t go to translate that to paper and it's like everything just evaporates and you can't see what was there before i don't know if you guys have ever had that feeling i've had used to have that feeling often when i would want to draw something and i would sit down to draw and i'd be like i know what i want to draw and it would just evaporate and you just end up with this like horrible <laughs> drawing um just me okay never mind yeah it was quite fun to use the paints i realized i bought some cotman's i bought some cotman's uh windsor and newton like a blue and a purple in the uk when i was there and i really thought they were much smoother and more pigmented than my 
other Winslow Newton um, palette kind of thing because it just went on thicker and I know you can make you can create your own thickness with watercolors but it was just more pigmented is what I'm trying to say and I want to get more Cutman basically Another thing I noticed was that this paper that I was using is kind of my cheap watercolour paper and I regret using that because it wasn't like the, the watercolours weren't blending very nicely and they were making all these weird textures in places that I didn't really want textures. Sometimes I really like textures like for instance in the grass on the bottom right is quite nice but then in the sky I don't know maybe it's just a personal thing at the moment. And I think one of my biggest regrets <laughs> I know that this uh, has been very negative but I also think, oh no, I've done this and it was hard work and I've accomplished things and I think when you have something that turns out as something that you're not pleased with, it's always good to reflect on it because you learn from the mistakes and then it's not time wasted. So mistake number 568, I used really primary colour kind of spectrum, well red, yellow, blue anyway, um, colours and I think, I don't know why, because I never in my life use that kind of colour palette. I don't like that colour palette. I like blues and purples and stuff. And I thought I could I could create like dark shadows and things and make it more visually interesting. But it didn't really happen. I think it was just very much, oh, here's red, use red. Here's blue, here's blue. And you know when people use the colour straight from the tray and they don't mix their own colours? I think that's really... I, well, I don't know why it's bad. I mean, I think I know in my head why it's bad, but I can't put it into words why that's bad. But I was always told never take a colour straight out of the palette and use it. You should always mix it and, you know, make different colours so it doesn't look like you've just done that. But I don't know why that's so bad. I guess this is a prime example of why it's bad because it doesn't, the colours don't look right to me and I can't figure out why. And I think that's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh guys, I should be a lecturer, right? So good at speaking. I apologise. Yeah, so I did a lot of watercolours, I did a lot of thumbnails, I did a lot of work, basically in a short amount of time, and I hope that you guys like this. Um, anyway, find it quite interesting. Even though the result is something that I'm not super happy with, I'm not ashamed of it though, because you know what, it's a finished comic page, and that's hard to do, and I totally went out of my comfort zone with doing male characters and spaceships and backgrounds and trying to do a comic in one day from writing to final thing. I guess final thing because it is a final piece but it's not something I'll ever revisit or um, sell or anything like that. But yeah, and I hope that you guys like it um, or, or found the process interesting to watch anyway because I found it quite interesting to do that's the final image basically is this and I hope that you guys like it so hopefully it will inspire you guys to take a look at the books maybe your favorite books and you can create something from them that you wouldn't have done before maybe I don't know helping to inspire I hope um thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe for more and I will see you next time bye